All right, getting ready to set the air conditioner. I need to square up the frame a little bit better and uh, put it at the angle I want, a little less of an angle than it is. And then we'll slide this puppy in. The kilns here? Kills? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have any or not. I thought we bought it in the spray can. We might have. Anyway, we just installed the grill. And uh, they designed it so one person can do it. They put a handle you know, here. He spends more time filming than he does working. <laughs> so you can hold it in with a hand and supposedly shoot the uh, sheet metal screws into little plastic tabs. There's spacers on all tops and bottoms so there's no vibrations on it. So that's kind of a good idea. Um, we'll have to paint it later when we paint the house or the, the project room. Anyway, off to the next step with Mr. Guy working in his jammy pants here. <laughs> He's pissed because I'm filming we're not working. Mister, I want to sleep in till noon. Yeah, but... I I've been trying to wake up. I sleep, I sleep till 10, but when I get up and work, I work. Yeah, I've been trying to work him up for hours. So anyway, we're about ready. That's set. This is set. We finally found all the instructions and the screws and all that jazz. Um, I didn't get a drain kit with it. The guy said I didn't really need it. I can do that later. I started looking here. There's actually no drain holes in the kit anywhere. I mean, in the unit anywhere. So, it does have, uh, come over here, it's a heat pump. It does have a float switch down here. So, if the tank fills up too much water, it will, uh, I'll read the instructions later. It might be if it shuts it off or what it does. But, uh, it looks like it just, the, the fan pulls the humidity out from here. So, we shall see. And, uh. All right, let's install it. All right, he wants to install it. Oh, look at this custom motor. Yeah, I bet it'll cost some ass load to replace. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, we're going to install it. I'm going to video while he picks it up. <laughs> All right. All right, we have uh, it installed here. There's six screws on each side that go in. Here and here. It's kind of slotted. I should have got a shot of it behind, but it has a vent flap here. You can push it to open the vent on the back side, bring in fresh air and pull it to close it. Of course you want it closed in winter so you don't freeze your coil or uh, your freeze condensation on everything in there. Uh, on this, when it ships from the factory, there's a screw to hold it shut so you have to pull that off. Of course to open and close the vent you have to pull the cover off. Um, comes with a screen. Now that goes uh, on the outside. It'll go on the outside. It'll pop in here. It will. Comes with a cheap little uh, mesh screen that most people will probably forget to clean. And uh, the cover snaps on, has little top and bottom pieces. Let me back up a little bit. So, the fun part. And just about. Come on there. This may be a two person job. He has a lip up here, so. Hang on. Let me put the camera down a minute. All right, sorry. Half-assed my videos today. See, dude, that angle really didn't. No, it looks pretty good, really. I mean, it just has a slight angle on it, so yeah, not much that, at all. It's not that much. No, it's not. Now that you get it all in one piece, it looks a lot better. Controls the uh, air filter. Slides Who right is in here. the man with <laughs> the builder? <laughs> my brother the growing builder. a beard. Yeah, I'm trying to look like an Arab. <laughs> But uh, that here, you can see the thermostat wire to check uh, return air temperature. Going back on the other side, and it had some thermostats. I should have took a picture on the other side. Pretty well insulated inside. You can see the foam a little bit. And, I wish we had uh, power. Yeah, I wish I had power out here right now. I don't even have a power run. But uh, oh, you know what? pretty good. Uh, 220 volts. And my brother is coming up with a genius idea of no, 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 no. That's 110. Why? That's 110 volt. This is 220 volt. 110, 220, 110, 220. It'll still power it. No, it won't. It no, it'll burn the fuck out of it is what it'll do. It'll put a load on the motor and it won't start. It won't fit that plug anyway. Now i got to yeah. make a new... Let's try that again. It is installed. It's kind of got a little more gap with her, but the uh, spacing out looks real good. How we, we fit it in to the wall. It just has a slight angle on it. But it's not shaking. It's pretty... Pretty sturdy. Foam on the top. Just has little clips on the top and it has a little, a little metal thing that slaps in the bottom. The uh, grill tilts open. Has a little slide out air filter. 
return air thermostat wire coming off in here and off over there. So you know you're selling this product, right? Uh, what? I haven't even mentioned the brand, have I? <laughs> it's an Amana. Don't, don't mention the brand. <laughs> no, I don't mind. It's an Amana heat pump, but not, I spent a few extra bucks on the heat pump, figuring it'd pay for itself uh, in a number of years, even though I despise working on heat pumps. But uh, there you go. Pretty good deal. It's all set. You don't have to wire anything on this. It comes with a 220 with a built-in fuse on it. A little extra safety. So whenever we've actually finished building everything here and, and I get power into our uh, room, which will probably be the very last thing I do, then uh, we'll do a fire-up test video for actually, fun. Actually, you need to do the power next, Steve, well, before we put walls on it. Why? Because then you can't drill through the studs to run boxes. I'm thinking about putting the boxes on the outside. You don't want the boxes on the outside. It's a ham radio room. It's a ham shack. That's sure I do. Why would I want? See, I can put metal boxes on the outside. They're easier to get to. Actually, I'm thinking about putting them halfway up the freaking wall. So hey, I don't care if you have. So when I so up the wall. so when I get to be an old man, not that I'm old already compared to some people, but you can still put plug. I'm telling you. Well, I could, but I stick a steel box bolted the fucking frame on the outside. Then twenty more years later, when I wear the plug out, it's a lot easier to get in and out, and I'll screw with it. I can paint it mauve, a mauve shade of brown to make you happy so that it matches the room. Is that all right? <laughs> ghetto fabulous. <laughs> but uh, oh, we'll figure that out later. My brother has been very good with the construction project here, so uh, we might go with his ideas anyway. Anyway, there you are for now, and we will uh, sign out and talk to you later because he needs to get back to work. Yeah, talk to you later. Bye. All right. Anyway. Let's go to the outside. My brother's inside so I can actually complete this video. Sort of. Oh, we put the grill on. Um, Michael. See? I couldn't get a, a two second break. The bitch is yelling at me. We put the grill on. And I know it needs painted, obviously. And I haven't taken the handle out. I, I want to get some well time in before I have to fucking go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's his real reason for coming over. Two hours of work, 12 hours of wow. <laughs> Hey, and I'm not arguing that. I'm, I'm all for that. But uh, anyway, so it, it's on. Obviously, it needs painted, but it just looks like it, shit. It looks like shit. It doesn't look right. I mean, it's got the tabs poking out, which makes me wonder if we actually put it on right. But I can't see any other way. So uh, I should be holding the camera like this, probably, when I do my videos. But anyway, uh, someone will message me and let me know if we hose it or if that's actually the way it's supposed to be. It just looks odd. you think the sun would bake these little tabs eventually and they'd snap. Anyway, we're off to Lowe's to uh, get trim board and do soffit vents and crap. So, I'll talk to you later.